Hello guys, here's a new Blender video in which I show you how to create a tube using array and curve modifiers. I have this basic head sculpting here. Let's switch to the rendered preview. It's not textured yet, I just added two cycles materials with a principal shader. The goal is to create a kind of plastic or rubber tube, which connects these two metallic parts. Ok, the first thing that I will do is to switch to a new layer and create one part of the tube by adding a cylinder. 16 vertices are enough because I will add a subsurface modifier later on. I also decrease the radius and the depth like this. Then I go to edit mode with face selection and select the top and the bottom face. Then I press the I key to inset these faces and after that I extrude the inner faces slightly by pressing the E key. Then I press X or delete to remove these inner faces, we don't need them anymore. And this is the basic shape, one part of the tube, that I bring back now to the first layer by pressing the M key. Now I add an array modifier to it with a relative offset for the Z axis and don't forget to check the merge option. Now when you increase the fixed count, the object already looks a bit like a tube. I press the H key here to hide the head, then we have a little bit more room to design our tube object. Ok, then as I said, I add the subdivision surface modifier and also set the shading to smooth. Alright, I think that's good enough, I will stick to this. And the next thing I'm going to add is a curve. For the curve type, I use a path. This one here. And then I select the tube object again and add a deform modifier of type curve, set the object to my path and the deform axis to set. In the array modifier I set the fit type to fit length and the curve again to my path object. And here you can see how this exactly fits the length of the curve. Ok, then you can switch to edit mode and select points of the curve with right click, just like you would do for meshes, and then press G or use the 3D gizmo to move the points around and adjust the tube as you like. I enable my screencast keys now so that you can see which keys I'm pressing, the G key to move the points, and the E key to extrude new parts. I'm fastening this up now a little bit because I'm just moving and extracting points till the tube fits to the inputs of the metal connectors. Now I press Alt and H to show the head again to have a better reference for my adjustments. My tube is a little bit too big for the connectors, so I press the S key and scale it down. And I did this in object mode, so I have to apply the scale after that. And then the tube fits again to the length of the curve. Ok, and this is basically how to do this, how to add shapes and objects like this tube. And once I'm happy with the position of the tube, I assign a cycles material that has a principal shader. It has a dark grey tone and I use a higher value for the roughness. So it looks a bit like flexible plastic or rubber. 
I just added these materials to have an impression on how this model will look like when it is textured in the end. Ok my friends that's it, I guess I will add more details to the model, improve the sculpting, we will see. I hope you find this video interesting and useful and if you do then please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and if you would like to help this channel grow, please think about supporting me on my Patreon. Thanks for watching this and thanks for your support, stay tuned and see you soon here on JNM.